In episode 8, we're going to work on destroying the object if it either reaches the target position or hits an object first. Reset your scene as always and turn off preview invisibility. Scope into the projectile group, open the projectile's microchip and place a new microchip inside it. I'll name this chip destroy for the destroy logic we'll be making. Open the microchip and place a destroyer and a zone. Open the zone and select the tag icon from the things to detect section. Now go down to the name to detect box and press up or down until you find the name of the tag you placed on the cube. In my case, it will be target position. Let's go over to the zone size tab and choose our zone shape. Try to use a zone that best matches your projectile. For example, you don't want to use a sphere zone for a cone shaped projectile. Try to adjust the zone size to cover your projectile. Don't make it the exact same size, but instead create just enough space for the zone to detect something before the projectile hits anything. Once you do that, close the menu and copy this exact zone. Open the copy to zone gadget and select the label icon from the things to detect section. Now, hover over the name to detect box and press triangle to delete the tag name. Then, go to the labels tab and change collidable to both. This will ensure that the projectile will detect anything visible whether it is collidable or not, which will then allow it to destroy itself. For the labels, allow it to detect everything except friend. Now that we have these set up, let's get out an OR gate and place it in the microchip. Connect one zone to port A and the other to port B. Then connect the result into the destroyer's power port. Having this means that if either the first or second zone detects anything, it will turn the destroyer on. Now, open the destroyer menu and scope out of the group. Take the affected object wire and hover your imp over the cube. You should see a purple circle on the cube. If we place this on the cube, the destroyer will not only destroy the projectile, but the group as a whole. So press X on the cube. Now, let's test this in play mode. There we go. Now let's go into edit mode and see if we can get something to block our projectile from making it to the target position. I'm simply going to use a cube. Now place your object where you think it'll block the projectile when you shoot. Let's test this one last time. It works. We are basically done with the hit position method. In the next one, we're going to make the projectile travel to the center of the screen if we don't hit anything. You all know the deal. If you have any questions or concerns, be sure to let me know in the comment section and I'll respond.